Hey guys, want to come to y'all today, uh, give it, everyone some insight. So, you know, ever since gas prices shot up and everything, um, I went out and I purchased uh, a 2000, I believe it's 2005, 2006, somewhere around there, um, Ford Ranger. Uh, this thing came with a camper shell, a uh, little two wheel drive truck. It's great for uh, work. I've uh, been working out of it for uh, almost a year now. But I finally got to the point where I was just sick and tired of being unorganized. So um, gonna got, kinda give y'all a brief overview of how I organized this. And I did it with basically scraps left over from job sites. Um, and just so far, uh, it's made my life easier. I've got little things that I'm gonna do, but I just did this yesterday and then reloaded the truck for work today. Um, so I've been working out of it for a day and it's already proven to be a lot simpler. There are a lot of finishing touches. There are some things that I, you know, need to get done still. Um, so it is a work in progress, but for those of y'all that, um, you know, don't necessarily want to go out here and spend the four or $500, uh, or, uh, you know, even higher than that sometimes on these service truck camper shells with the side openings and everything like that um this is what what i've got um my biggest complaint my biggest complaint was on these side windows you know I, if i close it to where it doesn't latch i can still open it if i close it too hard and it latches i've got to go in from the inside and unlatch it and then slide it open it also makes it really tough to reach anything that is in the back back there so that i really just kept a big tote with miscellaneous stuff that i really didn't use much but when i had to get to it it was a pain so we'll start right here with what i did was um i actually made i just took a you know piece of plywood ripped it down um it's, it is four foot wide i ripped it down lengthwise um and then i put two two by fours on their sides um, these trucks do have slots to where, you know, you could use a two by six and make it more sturdy, but I wanted to have a place to where, um, I've got a four foot, a uh, little four foot ladder in there. And then I've also got my rakes, post hole diggers, uh, my concrete rake, shovels, my broom, uh, my backpack vacuum handle, my extension cord reel and stuff in there. Up top, I've got plenty of room. I've got my, my pack out system in it. I've got several bags with, you know, miscellaneous tools, my vacuum, my hammer drill, all of that stuff. Um, so that has made it a lot easier to get to my stuff. But to get to the stuff in the back, what I did here was I took out the entire side window on this side. Now, this, this is temporary. And uh, what it is, it's, it's just a piece of Trex um, left over from a job site. I've got zip, I'm sorry, not, it's zip board. And then I've got a piece of zip tape on here as well. Um, I am gonna do something better with that. I'm gonna get a big piano hinge and a better locking system and a seal that can go around it to keep it. Um, I built this little shelf right here to where I can keep all my my, my hand tools that when I pull up on a job site, I can grab what I need and it's right here easily accessible. Um, I do wanna make this this back wall, I'm gonna make it taller and um, and then do a little wooden spot on the top, uh, piece of plywood on the top. Cause I wanna be, I wanna be able to, I've ordered the hangers to where I can sit here and I can hang my DeWalt tools. Um, however, if it's, you know, however I need to hang them, I can hang them that way um ideally what i'd love what i'd like for this shelf to be is a spot to keep my boxes of screws you know screws nails everything um that way they're easily accessible i do plan on doing this to the other side as well um and and doing it maybe a smaller shelf uh i don't want to do a big shelf because i do want to still be able to utilize you know inside here um, the main reason I do this is, you know, I do have uh, an F-250. Um, it doesn't have a camper shell. Uh, it's just an open bed, uh, four-wheel drive, 
four door F-250. Uh, it's a gasser, so it's horrible on gas. Um, and then I've got a, a three or a, I've got a one ton uh, dually flatbed with a 12 foot steel flatbed on it. So when it comes to hauling big stuff, I've got other options for that. I don't I don't use this to haul heavy stuff. This is my daily, uh, you know, jump around town to different job sites, and I can have basically almost everything that I need on me. Um, when it comes to my bigger ladders, um, you know, this truck was basically built on a budget. Uh, you know, not a bad truck for what it is. Um, like I said, I think it's a 2005 Ford Ranger. Uh, I had these, I use, uh, so I, I can't haul my ladders. Um, now some of you might be able to know, uh, tell right off the bat, those are actually kayak carriers. The reason I use those is because I already had them and I rarely use them to haul the kayaks because with four kids and a full-time job and all my kids are in sports, I never have time to, we never have time to actually go to the lake and do stuff like that. So, um, and the couple times we have is when we've went camping and in that case, we usually will drive separately and I'll pull the camper with the flatbed um, and my wife will you know, take everyone in the Suburban. And so I'll load everything up on the flatbed and there's plenty of room for kayaks, bicycles, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I do haul the ladders on that. Um, but as for the setup on this truck, you know, I do want to make it easier to work out of cause it is a fantastic truck to drive. Uh, you know, it saves me a lot when it comes to, to fuel. It says, you know, it's a, it, it's a fairly comfortable truck to drive. It's easy to zip in and out of places. Um, so it overall has been a great work truck. Um, just the organization is what was killing me uh, because I, you know, I don't generalize in just one area of construction. I pretty much dabble in everything. So, um, you know, as I go, I do plan on getting more organized and having you know, containers for, uh, like my, my plumbing and my PEX tools, then one for my drywall and, and those tools, one for concrete tr tools, uh, power tools, you know, all that. I want to have all that separate so it's easier to, to manage and easier to get to. And, and also if I know for sure that I'm not doing plumbing, I don't have to keep that box on me. I can, I can put it in my garage and only load that up when I need to. As of right now, I pretty much am just carrying everything on me, um, which can be a pain. There will be little things when it comes to, you know, every, like every trade that I will generally always keep on me just because I never really know what I'll be getting into. Um, but as for, you know, what I've done so far, I'm really happy with, you know, what I would, would I love to go out here and have like the fancy truck bed systems with the rollout, um, you know, with the rollout bed and all the fancy storage sliders and everything. Yeah, but I can't justify spending the money on it, nor do I have the ability to spend the money on it. Um, this was my cheap solution. So stay tuned. I will keep you all updated as I progress. If y'all have any ideas, any tips, uh, tricks on what I can do to make this easier to work out of, um, just hit me up uh, down below. Uh, thanks for look. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video.